Alfheim? What's there? There are still a few loose ends to tie up. We found a Hofgufa out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in town somewhere beneath the forbidden signs. A Hofgufa? I haven't seen one since I was a child. Also what? There's still that secret elven library in Alfheim. Lead the way. Mob. Well, Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half, Gufa. Oh, it looks as though the Light Elf sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The forbidden sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hathgifa. But I have to believe, in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave! I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hopgufa is free. <laughs> It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then.
This kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive metal. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped Hafgifer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective on you. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. <laughs> More high, but denser. Well, there you go. Enemy behind you, Kratos! don't often travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim, or so it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elf. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. <laughs> I suspect the corpse below would disagree.
you die. Let's continue, shall we? these half goofers will allow them to breed again it was a dazzling display once the skies of Alfheim filled with their song I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large no use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on trying to protect their children from a harsh world I can relate Ugh! 
to comprehend the choice they face when it's free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafkufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their life to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what choice I have. Twilight Stone. There must be a way over there. Back to the surface, then. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine.
fate of these creatures. It reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now, don't tell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. Years we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. Get again. Find you. Look out. solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they.
Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? <laughs>